Welcome to Love Content and in today's video I want to be talking to you about how love is the answer. Most people know that in today's world we're always trying to grasp happiness outside of ourselves but most what we should realize is that to, gr to grasp happiness, pleasure, peace and love we need to find these things inside ourselves rather than outside ourselves. So love is the cornerstone to all pleasurable feelings. When we feel love, you feel happy, grateful, and at peace. On the other hand, hate is the opposite to feeling happiness. When we feel, when we are feeling ha hatred to life, you feel like life sucks and it is worthless. But when you start loving yourself and loving others and, lo and loving life itself, you start to feel more grateful and more blessed and overall just feel life is more of a blessing rather than of a chore, you know, like life's a chore, but no, life's life's a blessing. So, for example, yes. Yeah, so, how can we love? How can we express more love in life? Or it comes down to self-love. You know, um, loving yourself unconditionally is the only way to truly experience life. We are given these bodies as a blessing for us to experience Mother Earth, but we all fall victim to think otherwise when uh, when we are attached to our egos and we live our life through the mind. You know, all kinds of reasons that I won't get into, but we all know these things. Like, people ask, people ask me, like, how can I love myself, you know? And some of the most basic ways are to start expressing gratitude for your life through the, through the process of affirm, affirmations, affirming to, yourself, affirming to yourself what you are grateful for out loud, to yourself or rather just writing these down even writing down what I'm grateful for is a very beneficial thing allow yourself to feel grateful when you express these things uh, for example what could you aff affirm you could affirm to yourself I'm grateful for this body to let me explore and walk this earth to see and to experience the world and world and its wonderful delights of nature so that's one of one affirmation that you could say to yourself every morning or you could say to yourself oh I love myself and I love my body I love how I can move my body I love how I've got eyes to see in this world see all its beauty that sort of thing eating a healthy diet um, most people want to eat healthily for weight loss or to feel good but don't truly experience health because they hate themselves at the same time as trying to eat healthy recently I've realized this myself to be to be successful with eating a healthy diet, you must be eating the, 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 that diet out of love and care for yourself and for your body. For a long time I, I tried to have, eat a healthy diet to feel good and happy, but I've always fallen off the path one way or the other because I didn't do it out of love for myself and to take care of this body. A raw vegan diet so I can feel happy in my body and to, feel, to feed my body with real healthy food to nurture it and to care for it with nature's design out of love for myself and my body. And the third one is exercise. Our bodies were made to move. Moving our body can be used as a way of expressing love for yourself as we are looking, uh, as you are looking after yourself and maintaining uh, muscle tissue and strength so that you can feel better in your body and to feel, for example, the feelings of strength and to just feel good in your body for example is another way to and and to exercise is another way to feel self-love and to give self-love to yourself finally open your heart to life and give out love and help others to feel love because in today's world we don't love other people and we don't love ourselves so how can we so it's it's a it's vital for us to start loving other people uh, realize that we're all suffering and uh, that we're all going through the same we're all going through some sort of problems in life and so that we shouldn't we shouldn't really um, hurt others for that fact because they're they're also going through pain and going through something just as you are so we're all one so realize that we should all start to love just give out unconditional love as as much as you can because what you give is what you get back and in the long run it may not happen in almost instantly but 
we eventually do get what we give back, whether it be a sign that you've given to someone through um, through hate, then you'll get hate back. You you'll gain you'll get worse things back if you give if you give people hell, you're going to get hell back. Like it's just the way the world works and the universe works. So I hope you liked today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below your thoughts. Subscribe and stay. Uh, check out the blog post to this video in the link below in the description. Uh, peace and love as always. Have a good day. Check it, yo. It's like this physical world that we live in could be like a classroom. Here to learn and clean up my act. Just like a bathroom, not just here to work for a stack. Can leave a path ruined, searching hard to fill up a gap. Can leave a heart wounded. The Christ grid surrounding the earth is in turmoil. Off balance, too much masculine. Needs more feminine.